Greetings, interwebs! I forgot something. Ah, that's better. Well, yes, um, it's bad enough that you're watching a hairy fat man talk about something, but watching a forgetful hairy fat man talk about something is much worse. <clears throat> so, uh, Trisha Hirschberger, the always lovely, did a video where she talked about her, um, ample womanhood, and other ample womanhoods, but mostly her own, and then asked us to talk about what makes us happy. Therefore, somewhere along the lines, I'm going to have to make the joke, I'm very sorry, what makes me happy is Trisha's ample womanhood. But now let's set that silliness aside. Oh, come on, that makes everybody happy, doesn't it? I mean... They did a recent study that showed that even women look at boobs when they see cleavage. It's Boobs, they're wonderful. Deal with it. Anyway, what makes me happy as a person? What do I do that makes me happy? I create. Look. Look, it's, it's Halloween themed. That, that's a jack-o'-lantern eating somebody, and, and that's a pumpkin monster, and that, that's kind of a, a rendition of my dad. Yeah, he looks like Santa Claus. I create. I do things. I make something with my mind. And on occasion, my, my hands and paint and, and pens. and uh, I, I once made some things with wire and electrical components that were really cool, and... I used to make clay sculptures, and I make all kinds of things. This is what makes me happy. It permits me to, for a short period of time, exit my rather violent and unpleasant world and enter a world where at least I can control the violence and the unpleasantness. I can have good triumph over evil, and wondrous things happen. Ironically, one of the things I created was a, a film script. And uh, Trisha talking about how her ample womanhood got in the way of, of certain certain film roles. I sit here thinking, you know, it was really cliche when I imagined her as the character of Aurora. Because <laughs> it's a horror movie and there's a scene where Aurora does a lot of running. And <laughs> I didn't realize how cliche this was. But apparently that's one of the places where an ample womanhood does uh, permit you a little further into the world of cinema, uh, cheesy horror movies. Incidentally, however, uh, at the beginning of this month, a publisher emailed me back saying that my book, based on this film, had passed round one basic evaluation and was entering round two of three rounds basic evaluation. So, it may get published, and if it gets published and does well enough, I may wind up calling Trisha Hershberger to play the role of Aurora. But now when I think about how this is a stereotype, I might want to switch that up. Because, I mean, you know, it's... this movie might be cheesy horror flick, but it's really more of a thriller, and I'd like to at least pretend that I'm being unique. I mean, look, one of the problems out there... Certain things keep happening over and over because they work. I mean, you know... I drew pumpkins for Halloween. Oh no, that's, that's, uh, that's original, isn't it? No. And in fact, I got all of those designs off Jack Leonard's people did, in the, did on the internet. So, I mean, I like to create, but... Often, and unfortunately, I'm not as unique as I'd like to think myself. And this can also be a source of frustration, which one should remember, if you're trying to make yourself happy, maybe you should back off when you're frustrated. Unless you have a deadline, then you should definitely push forward. But of course, because I like to enter other worlds, where I can find justice and wonder. I like to watch films. I like to read. 
Uh, I like to imagine. I like to cook. Cooking to me is another form of creation. But of course, when you're as fat as I am, uh, you shouldn't do much of that. And, and let's face it, uh, you know, Trisha Hershberger may have an ample womanhood, but she's much smaller than me. I wonder how I would stack up uh, with my righteous man boobs if, if I were her size. Because, I mean, you know, these things are pretty big for dudes. Not, not terribly huge, I guess, but, but good size. I mean, well, I, don't, um, I don't know. I think they're um, bigger than a C cup. Um, I don't know bra sizes. Never paid attention. I mean, let's face it. Most men will be really interested in seeing the bra come off, right? I mean, it's like a bra. No one, no man goes, gee, gee, what size is this? Like a bra? Yes, off, off, right? Are we doing the off thing? The bra and the off thing. That's what we want to see. That makes us all happy. So, I guess a question to my uh, watchers, if, if there's anybody out there. What makes you happy? And is it boobs? Because, I mean, if, if it doesn't, then something's probably wrong with you. I mean, there are other things that can make you more happy, but boobs. I mean, we all at one time had a lot of boobs in our face. Remember when you were a, a child and, and nursing and you didn't realize how weird that would be when you grew up? What? <laughs>